The daily drumbeat of gun violence happening in schools, malls, and even houses of worship across the country has changed the way we live. It's led some businesses and other places that attract large crowds to invest in ways to screen people and spot guns before they get inside. ABC's Jay O'Brien has a look at one of these popular gun detecting devices and sees if it really works. To get inside every one of the 27 Six Flags parks across North America, well, the Six Flags. visitors now have to walk through one of these, an Evolve Express scanner. Any place that's open to the public has to have a plan. Jason Freeman, the company's head of safety and security, made the decision to install them at his amusement parks two years ago. We don't want somebody coming into our parks that may have a nefarious agenda. Have a Six Flags day. Designed to spot hidden handguns, knives, and even bombs, the machines use similar electromagnetic waves to a metal detector, but there's no line or X-ray for bags. Evolve co-founder Anil Chikara told us his company's scanners use advanced sensors and artificial intelligence to learn the subtle differences in density between your keys, for example, and a weapon. Bags on, holding hands, phones in their pocket. They're getting screened, but they don't realize it. Walking through an Evolve scanner is increasingly becoming the price of entry at NFL stadiums, museums, and schools across the country. The whole idea is let the technology do the hard work with the security team overseeing it and let the visitors walk right through. We wanted to test it out. Anil was lit up with an alert, which along with his picture was sent to the Six Flags security team. The system had detected a metal prop hidden in Anil's waistband, mimicking the outline of a gun. But nothing I had in my pockets caused any concern. It didn't catch this, but it caught that. That's correct. But sometimes Evolve's scanners are set off by things that aren't weapons. ABC News obtained emails from one of the largest school districts in North Carolina. After Evolve scanners were installed there last spring, one principal complained the multi-million dollar rollout caused a day of chaos, with many students carrying no weapons but alerting the machines. The principal later wrote to a parent that metal three-ring binders tended to set off the system. In response, Evolve told us their technology is intended to find things that could be weapons and is constantly improving. Are there times where it will say something as a weapon when it's not? So the way the algorithms work is they get better over time. They're very good at under understanding items of interest and alerting, and they're very good at understanding personal items and not alerting on them. Evolve's technology isn't meant to stop a gunman with an assault rifle. It's intended for smaller weapons carried into places that attract big crowds. That's the idea here in West Virginia's Fayette County. School Superintendent Gary Hoke told us his district would sometimes catch students with knives, even guns, in the hallways. But, he says, the Evolve scanners, which were installed last year after a grant from the company, have significantly reduced the number of weapons found on his campuses. It really is a deterrent. I mean, it's one more tool. Hoke told us the story of one student who tossed this pair of brass knuckles in a flower pot so they wouldn't be caught by the machines. And as schools reopen, it might not be long before you or your child walk through a scanner just like this one. We see schools adopting this technology so that the kids can focus on learning and the teachers can focus on teaching. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.